Welcome to the Daily App Show. Today we have an app for the iPad for you called Doc AS, Annotate PDF, Take Notes, and Handwriting. We open this application here. You can see we have our simple layout of like a uh, note-taking application, but there's actually a cool uh, couple features that we can use. So once we have our notebooks here, you can see we can slide over to the different ones. Now this is in a selected folder. We have all these different folders down here. If we wanted to create a new folder, we just press the plus button and then we can create a few different ones. You can see we can scroll over to them. Uh, maybe we wanted to create a new one for relaxing. All we'd have to do is that and type in the name. Maybe we'll just call it relaxing. And then we can add tags to it as well so it'll be easier for us to find. Maybe we'll just uh, call it relax, chill, home, that kind of stuff. Hit return to save the tag and hit OK. So now we have this folder. So we can add a new notebook to it just by pressing the new notebook button. It'll automatically open up our notebook for us. But first we want to name it. We want to name this notebook um, home because that's where we're going to be using it at. Hit return and it's now going to be named for us. We can also import different documents like PDFs or uh, things like that straight from uh, different sources. You see we have iTunes, Dropbox, web dev servers, all these kind of things. So maybe we wanted to import one from our Dropbox. It's really easy. We just sign in, uh, go into the folder it's at, and select it, and it'll import it for us uh, really quickly and really easily. So it's just going to load up with our blue bar and done. It's just like that straight in there. Something cool with PDFs is we can actually go into it. You can see we have all the pages here, everything like that. Uh, we can bookmark and go to pages if we wanted to, add a bookmark for that page so we can easily get to it, especially if it's a bigger file. And we can uh, do a lot of different things. We can have the uh, little menu bar be in different spots as well. We can actually search for text in the PDF. So maybe if we wanted to search for a word, all we'd have to do is type it in and it's going to automatically scan the document for us and it'll show us on the page where it's at just by highlighting it in yellow so it's going to be really great for us. At any point we can save a page to a photo, send it to an email, uh, print the current page or print the whole current document if we wanted to as well. Now as on any page what we can do is we can hit our edit button here. We can actually uh, draw on this if we needed to, uh, do some handwriting. We can zoom in and draw if we needed to as well. We can just move this anywhere and actually make the uh, zoom area uh, in different positions and so say we wanted it there and we just needed to uh, circle a small area that would be really easy for us to do. And we can even hit uh, enter and move it. We can add text to any document so say we needed to add some text and uh, type that there when we can actually do a lot with it we can add uh, bold, italics, uh, change the orientation for left justified or center or right justified, change the font size and uh, everything like that as well or even the type of font. So once we get rid of that we can also add like different lines and shapes there's all kinds of things that we can do uh, in here or even a little marker tool as well, a little highlighter. And we can actually add photos directly onto this. All we'd have to do is open it up, select a photo. It's going to have it in, and we can move it, scale it, crop it, rotate it, all kinds of different things. And we can even uh, go onto our eraser, which will erase anything that we put on, but not the original document. So that's going to be really convenient for us. I've seen a lot of applications that will actually erase everything, and that's not something that we want to do with this. And we can change the colors uh, that we're working with as well. So it's going to be great for us to do. Uh, once we are done with that, we can copy our current page. Uh, we can add in a new blank page or a new page from photos. So if we wanted a photo background or a new page from clipboard, uh, we can use this button here to add a sticky note. And then we can have that uh, be pinned there if we needed to as well. And then we can delete the current page if we wanted to as well. Now we can do that in any of these documents, not just the PDF, but in any one of them. It might make more sense to do it in a blank page, but that's going to be okay as well. We can go into our tools here on a blank page and we can add in different types of tools. So say we wanted to do this one here and uh, hit done and this is going to be here. So once we're done editing it, maybe we wanted to add some text in here and uh, move it around and scale it. So it's going to be right there, you know, a new item and uh, add this in here. And we are going to be done there, so we would fill out all of our things there. We have all kinds of different ones that we can use here as well. So it's going to be really great for us to use. And then once again, we can export uh, these uh, pages to different sources. Uh, something cool about this is we can actually take audio recording. So all we have to do is hit the microphone button. It will automatically start recording for us and then have that there. So once we are done with that, we can actually send the audio recording by an email too. So if we needed to explain something to someone or read it to them, that's going to be really easy for us to do 
uh, just like that. If we ever want to get rid of a folder, we just hit the trash can button and it'll end up in our trash. So even if we accidentally did it, it can be in our trash for us and then we can empty the trash uh, after we make sure that everything we wanted to delete uh, was deleted and we didn't accidentally delete something. It's going to be a great tool for us to use in a lot of different areas. You can use it at work, school, home, all kinds of things like that. Once again, this application is available for the iPad. It's called Doc AS, Annotate PDF, Take Notes, and Handwriting. If you like it, be sure to pick it up in the App Store today.